An army of machines have descended upon your island domain, constructing strange buildings that are transforming the land into something twisted and alien. As a last-ditch effort to save the world, Gia, the spirit of the Earth, has awakened the deities of the elements to drive the robotic invaders away. As one of those deities, your goal is to deplete the enemy's resources by destroying their buildings and drones, and quickly, before the corruption spreads too far. Gods Against Machines looks like a base builder, but it's not, at least not from the player's perspective. The computer is attempting to build a colony on an island, and your mission is to destroy it in order to limit the corruption spread by its terraformers and to drain its resources until it is forced to retreat. The player does this by casting damaging and summoning spells, which they can upgrade in between islands. There's a definite old-school vibe to Gods Against Machines, with an aesthetic and gameplay style that recalls PC games of the late 90s and early 2000s. The gameplay loop is simple. The enemy places buildings which spawn enemies or protect the terraformers. The player destroys them while protecting crystals that provide mana. Many spells can be partially automated, and clearing islands means monitoring the map for new developments while managing resources. Gods Against Machines can be very engaging, but it bears investigating if this is the kind of game that you want. It is closer to an RTS than a base builder or god game, so if you're looking for the latter, then you should probably try the demo before buying.